A 748 says for each of the following situations, suppose our null hypothesis is that mu1 is equal to mu2, and that the alternative is that mu1 is greater than mu2. Then it asks, uh, would H0 be rejected? Okay, under case A, our T statistic is 3.75, and degrees of freedom is 19, and alpha level equal to 0 0.01. So we go to uh, the T table in the back of our book, we look up 19 degrees of freedom, and we look up 3.75. 3.75 is in between uh, 2.861 and 3.883 and 2.861 corresponds to um, an upper tail probability of 0 0.005 and 3.883 corresponds to an upper tail probability of 0 0.0005 okay and because this is just a one-sided test we're not doubling anything so our p-value is somewhere in between here and these numbers are both below 0 0.01 so we reject the null hypothesis. Okay. So part A leads us to reject. Okay. Part B asks us our T statistic is equal to 2.6, degrees of freedom is equal to 5, and alpha is equal to 10. So we're looking up 5 degrees of freedom and looking at the number 2.6, 2.6 is in between 2.571 and 2.757. Okay, 2.571 is 0 0.025 upper tail probability, and this is 2% upper tail probability. So our p-value we're not doubling anything because this is just a one-sided test. Our p-value is going to be is less than our alpha. Both of these p-values are less than alpha, so we reject the null hypothesis. Okay. Part C says our t-statistic is 2.1. Degrees of freedom is 7 and our alpha level is 5%, okay? So at 7 degrees of freedom, uh, 2.1 lies in between 2.046, which corresponds to an alpha level, um, not alpha, upper tail probability of 4%, and 2.241, 2.241. So 2.1 is in between these two numbers, and this is an upper tail probability of 3%. So here our p-value is in between 0 0.04 and 0 0.03. So our p-value is less than 0 0.05, which would, means we reject our null hypothesis. So whenever our p-value is smaller than our significance level, smaller than alpha, we reject the null hypothesis. And finally, d, our t-statistic is equal to 1.8 with 7 degrees of freedom, and alpha is equal to 0 0.05. So 1.8, going to our t-table, on degrees of freedom, is in between 0 0.10, oh, I'm sorry, is in between 1.397 and 1.860. So 1 1.8 is in between here. This is 10%, and this is 5%. So our p-value is in between 5% and 10%, so that means it's going to be bigger than 5%, so we do not reject our null hypothesis.